question is from Captain Jake Spara. I work as an Uber driver and my butt and hip hurts from sitting for so long. Are there any short exercises I can do in between trips to relieve my pain temporarily before getting back to work? Uh, this reminds mm. me when I had uh, bursitis in my hips. It would get so bad mm-hmm. that I couldn't go longer than a 30 to 45 minute drive without having to pull over and get out of the car and do some stretches oh, wow. because it was hurting so mm-hmm. bad. I mean, it literally feels like someone who was taking a blade and just sticking it right in the side of, of my hip. Mm. Yeah. And it is, if, and anybody who's, who's dealt with uh, bursitis in their hips um, or just a really, really tight IT, like you for sure uh, know what this feels like. And, and people that sit in a car and drive a lot, uh, especially as we age, uh, this is super common. And, you know, the it's funny we made this transition from the last question to this question because what I'd say about the combat stretch being the most important thing for the squat uh, depth for me, uh, for sure the 90-90 for this. Mm. So uh, mobilizing the hips because you're sitting in this, you're sitting in the sagittal plane while you're driving. And what would actually really, would really bother me is that just the little bit of movement left and right that I would make with my off the gra- gas and brake type of deal with my foot, mm-hmm. that's what would light up that whole that whole hip and make it feel like a knife. Yeah, was that entire fascial line coming up. Yes. That's why, too, I, I also tend to like uh, like Eldoa, and I don't use a lot of the Eldoa moves, but you know, one in particular I'm always coming back to because I'm you know in traffic all the time. I'm in that fixed position, and I'm not like in full extension of my leg, and then I'm also doing a lot of this plantar flexion and then internal rotation. Um, you know, I'm trying to then you know get in this position where you're laying on my back, and then my legs are completely against the wall, and so you know then I'm turning my toes in, and I'm like like basically the, unwinding. We have a video of that. Yeah, yeah. that's the one that got shared on Joe Rogan, which I love. That's I a, love that. That's so a, much. That's a really. That's a really it helps good, my back, my hips. So like, yeah, we'll, we'll attach that to the show notes too, so people yeah. can see that. Look, and, and here's a real general thing you can do. Every time you pull over, uh, in between trips or to use the restroom, um, even some sets of some general lower body exercises like squats and lunges and some hip abduction. This is like where you're standing straight up and you keep your legs straight and you bring it out to the side. Something like you might see a dancer do. Just doing some simple exercises every hour or two, you know, when you stop to go to the bathroom or again, you know, in, in between trips Listen, or whatever, it makes I'm, a big difference. I, I'm, yeah. I'm big on measuring things like this. So, uh, and I was able to do this. Like I, I gave you a time. I know that time because I literally have measured it. Like it, it's enough times that I go like, it's, it's right at the 30 to 45 minute mark. Guarantee I'll feel like I have a, a knife sticking in my hip if I didn't put my work in before I, I went into this. So uh, something we didn't mention either that I used to do a lot of and, and I noticed a, a ton of help was soft tissue work like on my IT and mm-hmm. piriformis. So roll, Get roll a cross ball. Yeah. Rolling, rolling the uh, uh, IT and rolling the piriformis will help release all that and then getting into my 90. So those, those are the main things. So I would roll the IT, I'd roll the piriformis. I would do some 90, 90 transitions. Literally that you're talking about five to eight minutes worth of work real quick before I got in the car night and day difference. You will notice a significant difference. And this is a good message for people who work long hours and sit at a desk. Right. You know, if you're sitting at, at work for 10 hours, um, I used to tell some of my clients, I would say every hour or every 90 minutes, get up and do about five minutes worth of, worth of just exercises, stretching, mobility work. That's all, just five yeah. minutes. And there's some side effects to that. Besides the fact that they had less pain, they felt better, they actually were more productive. Um, because as when you get up and start moving, you start producing chemicals in the body that uh, in, uh, that increase wakefulness and productivity. I also wanted to add too that I noticed like when I was constantly hydrating and focusing on like getting more water, like it really helped uh, mitigate a lot of the pain. 